Um, this image is a, uh, of a band we formed when we were only in our teens, about 15, 16, um, which started as just as a, a, a random idea between friends. We all lived within about 200 yards of each other, um, but had been primary school friends, although I'd gone up to a grammar school, uh, as, as had Bob, the, the jam banjo player with Brendan and Dunburn didn't. Uh, but we all stayed together and were friends together. And um, I was the musician in, in, in inverted commas because <coughs> I'd had piano lessons from, from being a science child. My parents were both music musicians. Um, so I was the one who knew about music, but we were all interested in the music of the day, obviously, the pop music. But suddenly there was an interest, I became interested in traditional jazz when the, the first sort of renewal of interest in traditional jazz took place in the 50s. Um, <clears throat> I used to listen to, uh, or I used to listen to uh, the Chris Barber band, and I got really keen on this, and I sort of um, became the apostle of it to, the, to all these friends around, um, and, and um, they all sort of developed. At first, they thought it was crazy this music, but uh, eventually, eventually, after a short while, some they thought it was crazy. <laughs> Um, and then we, we, we used to have fan f fantasies of playing in a band and, and uh, we had no idea how to do this. We, um, uh, uh, Brendan had never played anything. Um, May I just say, this gentleman was light years in front of us, light years. We knew nothing. We had one lad who was taking, Bernard, who played the piano. Bernard was taking lessons at the time. Um, and he, he wasn't, he just wasn't very good, but Bernard knew what a crotch it was. I never heard of that. What a bar was, we'd never heard of anything like that, only for this yeah, guy. Yeah. And Bob, Bob, well, we, we first of all had this mad idea of, of, of presenting ourselves as a band miming <coughs> on, on, on our local boys club. Um, and, we were kind uh, of challenged and, to do something in a, in a charity yeah. show. I don't know if it was for the elderly or whatever, and we, we decided we would Mime. Yeah, and yeah. What we were going to mind to, I've no it because we no, had no, nothing. We had nothing. Except at all. by this time, I was playing in the brass band, uh, and I had a trombone. I played trombone, which was relevant. <laughs> Chris Barber. Um, <laughs> Chris Barber. And um, so we thought, we, what we need is we haven't got a trumpet. We can't make a trumpet, but we can we can make something that looks like a clarinet. Um, so we made out of a, 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 a piece of stick um, and painted it black. Um, uh, and it made it look like a clarinet. I painted a white mouthpiece because Monty yeah. Sunshine <laughs> had a white. And Bernard used to put this gloss paint. And, on. Um, we, were, we were going to appear on this charity show, whatever it was, as if we were a band. Um, Didn't I have the mud guard off your bike, the um, for oh, drumsticks yeah, and a poo fair. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was it. Yeah. And um, Bernard was going to play the piano, all because he was playing the piano. And uh, this, it never happened in the end, did it? No. But but, um, but this got the interest going, and, and eventually it turned from mime into let's do it real. Um, so we formed a, a band. And